beautiful people it's chrissy on the scene if you know what i mean so come vibe with me baby and we back at this again with another video so come join me and listen to what i gotta say please watch to the end now today i want to talk about healing staying positive letting go and letting god and moving forward now all those topics fall into each other so it's not going to be hard to catch on to what i'm trying to say Anyways, it's people out there that feel like they're alone. And I just want you to know, you're not alone. You're not by yourself. You're not. It's other people that go through the same things you go through. Some people go through worse than things you go through. So understand that you got to learn how to heal from these things, move past them, and let your life start being more positive. Now, stay positive throughout the whole time. You're going through these things. It's hard to stay positive when you don't got, feel like you don't got no better ambition, feel like you don't got no purpose in life, feel like you down and out. It's a hard feeling trying to stay positive. But if you wake up every day with a positive attitude, trust and believe you're going to have positive things come happen in your life. And I'm a witness to tell you that it happens. I feel like myself, every time something good happens, something bad happens. I feel like that. That's how I personally feel. Because every time I have something good going in my life, something start happening that's trying to stop my happiness. But you know what? I'm going to stay positive and, and learn to accept these things and move forward with them because it's just making me a stronger person at the end of the day. It's just making me know that I can handle anything that life throws at me. And it's just letting me know that regardless of what's going on, I'm able to take it and I'm strong enough. I'm strong enough, very strong enough to take it on and fight it back. All right. So when you are feeling down, it's hard to move forward from these things that's hurting you. But you got to know one thing. When you hold on to pain and you hold on to hurt, you can't accept you can't accept new blessings in your life. You got to learn how to let go of this pain, of this hurt, of this trauma in order to accept and get new blessings in your life. Everything happens for a reason. And I'm not saying that it happened and it's a good thing that it happened. I'm not saying that it was supposed to happen. I'm not saying that you should just, just swipe it off and let it be. No, what I'm saying is you got to take your time to be to get over these things, to move forward with these things. You got to learn how to let go of your past to accept new blessings in your life. You will never get nowhere but being angry, being mad, being upset, being torn up about these traumas that happen. Now, I'm still going through some stuff. I'm still going through some stuff that hurts me on a day-to-day -day basis. But I'm getting through it because I'm staying positive. I'm moving forward. I'm letting go and I'm letting God. And I'm still healing from them. You know, it's not easy healing from these things. Now, me personally, let me tell you a story. I lost my mom at age two and a half. I'll deal with that every single day, not having a mother and only having one parent on this earth. I deal with that every single day. Because I know that she would have wanted me to be happy. She would not want me to be sad and down and out and just being a complete mess. I deal with it. It hurts every year around her birthday. It hurts every year around the day that she passed away. But I learned that it was time for her to go. God took her and gave her me to express and to do those things that she wasn't able to do in life. So it wasn't a good thing that it happened, but I learned to how to accept it. I'm still learning how to accept it on a day-to-day -day basis. Now that is something that makes me stronger every day because I know she's watching over me. I know she's guiding me through my day-to-day -day basis. Okay? Now, when it comes to letting go and letting God, you have to have faith. 
You have to have faith in God enough to push forward and believe in him so that he has all your battles made up for you. He gives his strongest soldiers his hardest battles and not saying that it always got to happen to you. It always got to be you. But what's going on in your life is God knows what he's doing. He's making these things happen because he wants to make you a stronger person. He wants to know that you could deal with these blessings that you're asking for. He wants to know that you praying the right way and you praying and believing in him. Because when you stop believing in him and you stop praying and you stop giving faith, giving faith and hope, that's when things start falling apart because you stop believing. Now, sometimes you can still be praying and going through these things as well, but it's all about staying positive on the fact that you are still here. Some people don't have what you have. Some people don't have a roof over their head. Some people don't have clothes on their back. Some people don't have a bed to sleep in. Some people don't have food on their stomach. Some people just don't have it like you have it. So you got to be grateful for what you do have and be grateful for what God is giving you. Because at the end of the day, all of that could be taken away in a split second. All of it could be taken away in a split second. You got to understand that. Heal from what you go through. Even if you got to get up every day and talk to yourself in the mirror and let you know and repeat to yourself, you got this, you got this. Believe in yourself. If nobody else got you, you got you. Hold on to that. Hold on to that faith that you got within yourself to move forward, to move forward. Sorry, move forward. Now, when you believe in yourself, you have faith in God, you push it forward, that's when good things happen. But if you're not, that's when your life starts to crumble. Let God handle all of your pain. Tell God all of your problems and let go and let him deal with it. It's not easy letting go, but holding on to that pain is just going to make you mad. Holding on to that anger is just going to make you a bitter person. So why hold? Why hurt yourself if you already been hurt enough? If everybody's been hurting you and other people's been hurting you and other trauma's been hurting you and other situations been putting you in a hurt place, why would you hurt yourself by holding on to that pain? Let go of the pain. Let go. Understand that you have better situations than other people in life. You have to look and be grateful for what you have. God knows what he's doing, so let go and let God move accordingly to your life. Your life is going to get better if you pray, if you have faith, if you push yourself forward. If nobody else got you, you got you, all right? Now... Moving forward with life, if something already happened and you can't change it, then why be mad about it? You can't change it. You can't go back and change it. I know it hurts, but you have to accept it. It happened already. It happened already. So why would you hold on to it and let it hurt you even more if you can't change it? You feel me? Then you have to understand to... Move forward with that, let go, let God, stay positive, and learn how to heal your own way. If you got to wake up every day and tell yourself you got this, then you got this. If you got to pat yourself on the back when you make a good and achieve a goal, then you got to do that. 